you're watching this right now, you're probably really confused. Should you go to a boot camp? Are degrees worth it? Do certificates matter in cybersecurity, cloud computing, IT? Or can you just teach yourself everything online for free? Well, in this video, I'm going to go over boot camps, degrees, online training programs, certificates. Some things I'll be going over is the purpose of each one of these some pros and cons, and also my own personal thoughts as someone who has been through boot camps, degrees, and certificates. If you are new to my channel, I'm Nicole, and this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. So go ahead and smash that like button. And to thank you, here's a picture of a zebra. And while you're down there smashing that like button, I also do have a free course list that will help you structure your entryway into tech. So check that out below. Let's get started with degree programs. A degree is kind of like the modern day caste system in America. A degree program is essentially a collection of knowledge that has been accredited by a third party saying, if you go through this material, it is legit and you will gain and become competent in this subject that you're getting a degree in. Degrees usually take around four years. The average state school per year, if you include tuition, board, books, is about 27,000 and 44,000 if you're out of state or even $55,000 for a private school. The biggest con to a degree program is the time that it takes. And it takes four years to usually to complete a degree program. Now there are some other colleges where you can do it in two or even one year a college degree. And those are fantastic. But most people will take four to six years to get their degree. You're wasting four years of your life and you don't get that compounding interest of experience over a long period of time. The second Second biggest con is you're going to have a lot of debt and even if you don't finish that degree program you still may be stuck with that debt or maybe you decide you didn't really like your college major then you kind of just went to college to learn something that you probably could have taken really low cost online courses on if you were just interested in and wanted to dabble you could have read about five to ten books on that subject and probably gained a really similar education. In tech, another con is is that every three to four years, the knowledge tends to change. So you have to renew whatever you learned. In 2022, I believe four years is entirely way too long. It may have worked in like the 1700s, but we're no longer in the 1700s. Some pros to a degree program is the completion rates are actually higher than say online courses. Because you're paying so much money, a lot of people do actually complete the thing. Another pro to a college degree is the fact that you do have support and feedback on what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. A lot of times, oftentimes, if you try to go the self-taught route, you're not gonna really know what you're doing right or wrong and you could just be on an entirely wrong path but you won't know because you don't have that feedback and you could just waste years doing the wrong thing. Another pro of a degree program is that it's extremely structured and there's tests to make sure that you actually learn the knowledge and all of that fun sort. So I think that is probably one of the best benefits to a degree. My own personal thoughts as someone who has gone to a brick and mortar college and got my bachelor's degree and also has my master's degree in an online training school, I am mixed on degrees. On one side, I think degrees are great because it does introduce you to new ideas that you wouldn't have gained exposure to otherwise. You also can gain a really good network of people at a college and it's honestly just a good time. There are a lot of affordable online colleges out there today and there's also community college where you can get your associates and I think these are really great affordable options. Move on to certificates. A certificate is essentially teaching you a targeted skill. They they can definitely help you land a job. In fact, some jobs you're required to have certain certificates due to compliance reasons. Different industries have different requirements for certificates. So for instance, if you were going to go into software development, they're not really big on having certificates. Really, they just want to see your code and that is what they are going to go off of along with the technical interview. Now for cloud computing, information technology, 
and cybersecurity certificates are really, really big and human resources, hiring managers all look for these certificates to validate your knowledge. And on top of that, a lot of times if you're working for a consulting company, they can often charge the customer more money because you have these certificates and then you can actually negotiate a higher raise because you have these certificates. The biggest pro to me for certificates are number one, they're amazing for compliance reasons. The second really good reason to get a cloud computing, cybersecurity, or IT certificate is they help you structure your knowledge in learning a certain skill. For instance, if you want to learn AWS cloud, they have a certificate for that that is structured and you can go through and you can learn everything and then you can validate your knowledge by passing these certificates. The next reason that I really think cybersecurity, cloud computing, and IT certificates are worth it is that it can help you get an interview and pass human resources and the hiring manager because they are looking for these certificates. And also the applicant tracking system looks for these keywords in your resume. Cons to cybersecurity, cloud computing, and IT certificates are that they can be kind of expensive. However, when you compare them to a college degree for tech, they are, they're actually a pretty good deal. They can range from $150 for these AWS cloud certificates to like $1,000 for like the CISSP to like $7,000 for the GAIAC certificates. Now you don't need to spend $7,000. There are plenty of affordable options, less than $500 such as the CompTIA Security Plus, great place to start if you want to get into cybersecurity. So another really big con to these certificates is that they can actually distract you from learning actual skills because you're so focused on passing this test that you forget to create projects and remember knowledge plus experience equals skill. So you can be gaining the knowledge from these certificates but not doing any hands-on. I've definitely have been through this. What about boot camps? Do I think boot camps are worth it for helping you land a job in tech. A boot camp is meant to take you from knowing nothing to knowing a lot and landing you a job within six to nine months. They cost anywhere from $10,000 to $20,000. The biggest con that I see with boot camps is definitely the cost and that they're kind of preying on your hope to land a high paying job. So pay $20,000 now get an $80,000 salary. So I think if you're someone who will put in the effort in those boot camps, then you can definitely do it without a boot camp for a lot lower cost. So if you want to go into cybersecurity, cloud computing, and IT, you could probably get the CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, CYSA, and then have probably the same type of education. Or even if you wanted to go the cloud computing route, I mean Azure, AWS, and Google all have training programs and certificates to help you. You could probably do it under $1,000. People think they can pay their way into a job without actually putting into the work. Can't recommend spending $17,000 on a boot camp. Some pros to boot camps are it does structure your knowledge. It puts you through in six months. However, six months may be a little bit too quick for a lot of people to actually assimilate the knowledge. I know when I've gone through boot camps, I didn't really remember anything at the end of the course. It's just kind of like a brain dump of information and you don't have time to really simulate and then kind of demonstrate the knowledge, say in like projects. Some other pros are you going to be surrounded by a community of people and y'all are all trying to help each other out to land a job in tech. So it can be really good for networking. So a lot of the instructors actually do work in the industry. So you are getting access to that. Do I think you can learn the skills in six months or land a job in six months? Yes, I do think that is possible. I don't think you need to spend $15,000. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is online courses. And these are essentially just courses put together by instructors and are delivered to you online from Udemy, Coursera. There's also ones just by individual creators. I have taken tons of online courses and have benefited tremendously from them. Pros to these are they're pretty flexible. They're usually very affordable. A lot of times they're also taught by industry standard experts. So you get their experience and context along with just the knowledge. If you go to like a regular college course, you may or not, may not get someone who's actually worked in the field and may just lack that context and they can't give you that context uh, that you would get with from an industry standard. Some cons I see to online courses is that their completion rates are between five to 15%. Sometimes when you're new, you don't really 
know what is good and what is bad, so it can be a little bit difficult. It can also be a little bit difficult to stay motivated when you're just kind of going at it alone and you don't have that feedback loop that you would in say a boot camp or a degree program. The next one is being self-taught and trying to go it alone. And this is essentially to me is trying to use all free resources, not really taking direction from anyone and trying to piece things together from multiple free resources. I've tried to do this and I have never been successful. I tried to learn how to paint for eight years, just trying to self-teach myself and I didn't get very far. It wasn't until I signed up for a structured online training program that I actually am now now finally making progress and my paintings are improving into consideration when trying to piece together your learning because you don't know what you don't know. You think you do, but you don't. Self-teaching is the hardest way. It can be done and it's extremely flexible. It's also very low cost as you can find all of these resources online for free. I do have below a list of courses that I helped structured and it comes with online courses and also projects that you can check out. The link is below in the description. Do I think being self-taught is worth it and should you pursue it? I think it's good in the beginning, but if you're wanting to go the quickest amount of time, it's always good to like talk to someone who has done it. Sign up for a structured program that isn't going to break your bank. Uh, please don't go into debt for anything. That is my thought on boot camps certificates, degree programs, self-teaching along with online courses. So I do have tons of other videos about cybersecurity, IT, cloud computing that you can check out here and how to get a job, different resources. So make sure to check those out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.